Many of us were familiar with this sound back in the era of dial-up, but in this age of gigabit fiber connections, streaming 4K video, and cars that connect to the cloud AI in real time, it seems like dial-up should be a distant memory. But did you know that people still use old school dial-up as their main home internet connection? As of 2021, well over a quarter million homes in the United States relied on dial-up. And in 2020, it was estimated that around 1% of Canadians, or around 38,000 people, also dialed in to connect. But hold the phone. How is this possible? Well, it turns out that quite a few folks in rural areas don't have many other options. The main alternative to dial-up in many of these places is satellite internet, which is much faster than dial-up. All you need is a clear view of the sky to get a broadband signal, so it's available from at least one provider in most remote locales. But that's about where the advantages end. Although satellite internet is high speed in the sense that it isn't dial-up, it's still much slower per dollar than the average fixed connection like cable or fiber. Basic plans tend to start at around 65 bucks a month, just for 10 to 25 megabits per second. Plus, you often have to pay initial and or monthly costs for the equipment. <sighs> SpaceX's Starlink promises faster speeds, but at even higher rates and an initial $600 fee for hardware. Guess Elon has to come up with that Twitter money from somewhere. Satellite internet is also notoriously sensitive to the weather, much like satellite TV, and usually has high latency, making activities like online gaming a real chore. But even if you can put up with that, it's simply cost prohibitive for some folks in underserved areas, especially considering some dial-up providers now even provide a fixed number of hours of internet access for free each month. The low cost of dial-up also means that devices like ATMs and card readers, which don't need much bandwidth to begin with, still often have a dial-up connection at least as a backup. But uh, hold please, what about DSL? It runs over plain old phone lines and is much faster than dial-up. So why don't people in remote areas just use that? We'll tell you right after we thank FreshBooks. FreshBooks is the invoicing and accounting solution that's built for owners and their clients. FreshBooks users save a ton of time and money. We're talking 11 hours a week that they used to spend sorting through invoices and keeping track of financials. Plus, 94% of FreshBooks users say that it's super easy to get up and running, and with award-winning support, you're never alone. Switch to FreshBooks today and join over 24 million people who have used it and loved it. Try FreshBooks for free for 30 days, no credit card required. Go to freshbooks.com slash techquickie to get started today. Still on the line? Good. Although higher speed DSL can run over phone wires, it requires specialized expensive equipment at each end compared to traditional dial-up. Because it's slower than cable or fiber, many ISPs are killing off DSL because they don't want to deal with the upkeep costs which has caused some controversy since there are people in outlying areas that rely on it to connect to the internet at respectable speeds. Not to mention fiber deployments tend to reach wealthier areas first. Cost is also the reason rural areas tend to be underserved in the first place. The low population density and vast tracts of land mean that cable companies have hangups about building expensive infrastructure to every home. It's the same reason many of these same houses can't even get cable TV as if they'd want to these days. And of course, this isn't the late 90s where the internet was a mere novelty or luxury. It's a practical necessity to participate in modern society. So many areas with limited options for internet access are losing population, giving the ISPs even less of a reason to serve the folks who stay behind. But the hope is fixed wireless technologies where an internet signal is delivered to a home via a cell network could help bridge this digital divide in the years to come as large mobile carriers continue to build out more towers. It'll take time and money, but it could end up being more cost effective than laying cables everywhere. And a lot quieter than listening to Google dig up your backyard. Thanks for watching guys. Like, dislike, check out some of our other videos, comment with video suggestions down below, and don't forget to subscribe and follow.